Hey boys, welcome back to the second part in our uh, test match here against Pakistan. And obviously, it's uh, I mean it's not a game we're totally in control of. We're coming out to bat in this uh, second stanza. Obviously, we failed in the first knock, but uh, but a good chance here to to get that uh, average sort of on the straight and narrow. It's gone from over 50 to just above 40 now. So, I mean, we're, we're dropping. Um, but yeah, like I said, it's a good time to, to have some, have a little bit of freedom. Um, we don't want to lose our head, but Hanscom is, uh, he's gone along nicely. Obviously a couple of quicker wickets, but lead three, around 350 there, 342 obviously. And, um, yeah, a good, a good chance here is, uh, the spin, the spin is very tricky. And it's annoying because it seems like the Pakistan team just have days for spinners. Or not days, but just constant spinners. <laughs> it's just so annoying. I don't know. Since coming back to the game, the spinners are so much more difficult. <laughs> I'd much rather face some pace. So here we go. We get a little pace on the ball. And Muhammad Amir actually cranking it up. But a bit of a juicy full toss there outside off. And we'll take that every day of the week. So... A nice little gimme for us to get the confidence up. Um, but, uh, but yeah, it should be pretty quick. I mean, Amir is a is pretty quick bowler in general. And we do have the pace modifier up quite a bit. So it's coming down. It's coming down fairly quickly there. Is That's a better shot. A bit more confidence that time off the hip. Um, and uh, yeah, I, I think I said it in the last episode that those shorter, the red deliveries, the short ones for spinners, I think just play them on the front foot. I'm always like... My instinct, I don't know why I said it like that, but my instinct <laughs> for the short balls, even on spinners, is to play back to them. But I think that's just like playing with fire in this game. I don't know. It's just, it's not actually that short. As a, that's a beautiful shot. That is it's such a nice shot. It's one of my favorite animations. It doesn't usually get any runs, but it's, it is such a good shot. Just a back foot punch into, uh, into point uh, cover region. As our uh, arm here getting a little, a little over pitched again. We couldn't really put him away. A uh, bit of a slow ball actually that time. Didn't quite time it. But uh, Ali now another pace here is coming into the attack, which is nice. And uh, a good little shot there to point for no runs. But uh, yeah, we're ten off twenty here. As this one, we just sort of tennis style shot this one over cover. <laughs> Terrible timing, but. We got it out of the middle, and that's all that matters. It went over the fielder. 14 off 21. We're having we're having some difficulty um, getting going in this innings, but they, that's fine. We have we have a good chance. Um, there's still plenty of time in the game left. Matthew Wade, obviously another wicket has fallen, so we got you know we, we sort of got, got to dig in. Our lead is like it's not winnable at this point. Well, not it is winnable, but uh, it's not. It's not guaranteed at this point, so I mean, we we have a good chance to really grit our teeth and and uh, try to just dig in and, and get some get some handy runs. So another good shot that time. The uh, the horizontal shots against the spinners, I like to play them. They're sort of my specialty. As uh, right here, we're gonna get some overthrows, dude. It's gonna turn into six runs. Can you believe it? <laughs> Overthrows happen so rarely in this game, but this was actually beautiful. Just, we're struggling, and they just give us four freebies. So, we'll take that. 2012-26 now. Um, all, all of a sudden, our strike rate's not too, uh, not too shabby. This one has actually been the field. I couldn't see where the ball was for a second there, but it's actually timed pretty well. We're going to pick up another, another couple there. Um... But yeah, 22 off 20, uh, 24 off 27. Matthew Wade also struggling, so I don't know. Maybe the pitch is getting a little tougher, which is which is good. It's good for us. We're in the dominant position here. As uh, that one again just worked off the hip. Um, it is probably the strategy to those shortish balls. Um, and uh, yeah, we're actually looking quite good at the crease, which uh, is is nice. Last couple of innings, um, last couple of episodes, our batting has been just. I mean, that's been terrible. We, we've got out to a couple of good deliveries um, and this and that, but this time we actually look fairly fairly solid at the crease. Getting back to that form before we had our hiatus, which, I mean, it was always going to take a bit of time. We're all of a sudden 31 or 34. Confidence is, is going pretty well. As uh, the short ball comes in, we try to blast this one away. I actually thought I picked the fielder out, but it's actually 
Actually, not a bad shot. It's going to go for four. Uh, another wicket has fallen, so Paddy Cummins is at the crease. I mean, we got into the bowlers now, but the bowlers can batter me. We've got Cummins, Stark, Lyon, and Hazelwood. You know, obviously Cummins and Stark are the mainstays, and then the other two, they can hold the bat. So we have, you know, no reason to, to lose our head and, and try to just go for a bit of a slog. We still, you know, still plenty of time to bat, get a get a 50, um, and just bat as long as we can, really, 35. Uh, approaching approaching the 50 as this one is pulled away again. You know, I, lo I love the pull shot. This one was probably a little bit outside off. We could have almost gone for the cut shot, but the, the cut shot is always a risky shot as well. Uh, but playing that uppercut over the slips is, uh, is pretty effective, actually, in this game. It's sometimes hard to actually play it correctly, but it is a, it is a very... Uh, it is a nice shot as well, the little uppercut over the, the slips field. This is, a, again, a glorious drive down the ground. That is what you'll want to see. That is showing some actual uh, touch right there. Not uh, not quite the timing. Didn't go for four, but that's uh, that's our batting evolved right there coming coming to the forefront. Um, as uh, Ellie is continuing, he's getting to hit around a fair bit. He's picked up a couple of wickets, but going the journeys, this one is going to get caught. Can you believe it? The short ball has got us again for 39. We're starting to look actually pretty good at the crease and banged in short. I mean, the, the shot was on. I thought I hit it pretty well, actually. I mean, it was a confidence looking shot, but the, the square leg fielder has done a good job to get around to it, take a nice grab and yeah, we get bundled out. So, I mean, it's, it's a good lead. It, it was above 400, I think. Uh, yeah, it would have been like four. 450 probably as uh there's our test average and uh we're on early in the day i mean there's still 80 overs remaining i thought it might have been <laughs> almost then to play to bring us on but obviously uh captain seen something in the pitch to to warrant the uh the quick uh introduction for us uh you know we're in we're in good form so there's no reason to hold us back but it's, uh, it's always a little tricky with the new shiny ball. Get a little bit more bounce, a little a little less spin, which it can, can sometimes be a blessing, honestly. But we probably rely more on sort of the uh, the sideways ripping of the the, uh, the deliveries. But, uh, you know, we'll, we'll try to do our best early on here. A little partnership starting to form, which we'd like to break pretty quickly. Uh, Shazad, obviously, is going very nicely. Hafiz, he's digging in. But, uh, that's all he needs to do. I mean, it, it, it's a big total to chase, but at the same time... Um, so, yeah, they, they need 426, which isn't impossible. Uh, there's still plenty of time in the game to go as we go up for a, for a shout. He's actually given it. <laughs> I can't believe he gave that. I can't believe it. Looking at, looking at that on replay... That looks like it's gonna miss off stump. Oh, I, <laughs> I did not. I did not think that was gonna be a wicket. Obviously, I've played this game, but I didn't think this was gonna be a wicket. It uh, it didn't look out, in my opinion. It looks like it's gonna miss off stump. That's not out. <laughs> that is nowhere near out. Surely not. I mean, it might be clipping. The height. The height isn't too bad. I actually look at the, uh, yeah, look at the big eye as well, because when I did this live, I'm like, that can't be out. It just didn't look out, but he didn't challenge it. It does hit him in line, but it's going to miss off stump. <laughs> so that's super lucky. For one, the umpire gave it out, which is, I like, I really actually like that the umpires can make mistakes. I think that's actually really good for the game. Um, it might seem silly, but it means that, there's sort of there's a reason for challenges and that's you know it just makes it more interesting to actually appeal for stuff and stuff like that is we're gonna get another one here beautiful bowling it's gonna be azam right there baba azam very good batter big wicket and uh yeah beautiful catch in close here diving his way to his right kept his eye on the ball getting down low beautiful stuff um but yeah, that was so lucky. The umpire giving it, and then he didn't challenge it. Usually, I've seen it a couple of times where the it's it's it shouldn't be out, um, but the umpire gives it, and then the AI usually challenges it, but they didn't challenge it. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy! So all of a sudden, 
um, three for 52. We got two for 14. The, uh, the early introduction of myself has been a bit of a, a bit of a master stroke. So, uh, well done to the, to the captain here as, uh, Pat Cummins comes in, steaming in. Um, so yeah, we got, a got him a bit on tilt. Um, but you know, they, they still got some handy batters and a, a fairly big partnership right there. A couple of hundreds in the middle has actually brought them back into the into the match. We had a fairly long stint. <laughs> We've only bowled the six overs. They're six for 311. We go up for a big shout. Our first delivery back. Definitely not out, but wow. This is uh, it's turning into quite the game. Ali is... Ali and I, I don't know who the other guy got a big hundred as well. They've turned this game completely around. I, what have they done? Our bowlers... Our bowlers have just brought them back. It's now seven down, so a big wicket has fallen. Is this one? How, how on earth did that miss the stumps? Oh, that would have been huge. Getting them eight down, still a hundred runs, basically. It would have been big right here. Beautiful ball. Just, it's spun. It's spun a lot. It's almost hit his arm. How has it missed leg like, stump? <laughs> how has it missed? It's just missed by a whisker. How is that missed? That's actually hit. Surely that's clipped it. Trying to get a good angle. Bloody keeper and batter is in the way. That is actually hit the stump for sure. <laughs> it's... Oh my goodness. I could not believe it. That is... I mean, we got lucky. I'm not going to lie. We got like a bit of a bit of karma right there. But uh, we actually, do, did we win? No, there's still one wicket remaining. We come back in. We, we've been used fairly sparingly. And we, we've brought back in at a pretty critical time again. They're putting their faith in us. And, I, you know, I can't blame them. Um, trying to get the field right because this is pretty important. Um, nine down. It's, I mean, we're obviously in the box seat, you would say. But they only need 40. It's looking... It's tight. It's tight. 40 runs, uh, or 40, 43. Um, so, I mean, it's tight, but uh, we do have the box seat. Obviously, they are nine wickets down. Ali is doing a good job. Muhammad Amir, he's digging in. Uh, his other partner is doing most of the scoring, but we do pick up the final wicket. Amir, you know, that's the problem we're trying to just dig in, defend. You just need that one. Just a little bit of bounce, a little bit of spin, and it just... A little inside edge onto the pad and a nice simple catch that time. Not going to drop those. And there we have it. We won the game for the team. Um, the rest of the bowlers, I, they went for some runs. <laughs> Nathan Lyon, two for 81. Steve Smith, man, the match with a double, double hundred and a 50 to back it up. But we bowled beautifully. Three wickets, four wickets respectively. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this series, a return. It's going to be going on for a long time yet. So make sure to like and I'll see you in the next one.